I sped some of this up just for the simple fact it's kind of boring. But as you can see, parallels are too small, so I had to put in a new, another set of parallels. And you can also put them under the feet. I just decided to put it under the main part. So make sure you're clean. We're going to set the part down. And as you can tell, that parallels. That's why I always double check the parallels with my hands. So just tap on it, and then you want to check the parallels on all four corners to make sure that it's sitting flat. Now I'm going to take a skim pass so I can touch off all my tools. And you do not have to touch your tools off on the final Z depth, and I'll show you why here in a second. So we're just going to go around and skim two places so we can measure the part. And right after I did this, I'm going to go ahead and touch that tool off. And then I'm going to zero out everything else. So zero F1. And that's just a, a good way to double check yourself to make sure you touch the tool off. Now we're going to go through and touch each tool off with a piece of paper. And after that, I'm going to measure the part and then take the difference of what it is and what it should be and drop all the tools individually. So just make sure that you try to touch them off all of all the same so as soon as the paper stops technically you have to go down the thickness of the paper so if the paper is four thou thick you need to drop the tool four more thou. And there wasn't anything hard about any of the tools touching them off. Just make sure that you're touching off on the high point. Then what we're going to do is we're going to measure the part in a couple of different places. So as long as this within four or five thou, you should be fine. So we have to take off roughly 250 thou. So I'm going to take the numbers that I have and subtract 250 thou. 